Hi, I'm Joel with The Marketing Squad. Today we're going to talk a little bit about why your church, your religious organization, or your nonprofit needs a new website. You know, if you're like most people, you, know, you let your website go for a long time without updates, and maybe you're, you haven't even got yours mobily responsive. So if you're not familiar with some of these things that we're talking about, this is going to be a great video for you to watch. Um, I've highlighted a few uh, local ministries that I'm familiar with here in Louisville, Louisville Kentucky, uh, one of them being Believer's Church. Uh, they're over off Smyrna Road. I want to um, highlight a few things that they've done really well that I like about their site. For one, it is mobile responsive. It's really important that your site is mobile, mobily responsive. Uh, you know, the vast majority of uh, web searches going online today are on a mobile device. Mobile usage has actually surpassed desktop usage for internet uh, searches and just looking up things on, online or surfing uh, different websites. It's very important. One of the things that Believers, has done, Believers Church has done really well is they have a whole media section, ways in order for them to um, produce content and get their content out to their people, a place that will house that. So I'm going to show you what that looks like right here. So you can go in, you can look at, you can listen live. There's an audio, audio archive and podcast. There's photo galleries. Um, so if I go into the audio archive, I want to show you this portion of it. You can see... Uh, all you have to do is click on a topic and you can listen to it. The other cool thing that they have is the, are these easy share buttons out to the side of their content. Now, if you have uh, your audio, your sermon notes, things like uh, any type of content that you've created, maybe in like a weekend service that you want to make uh, available to your, um, your members, if you could create a share button, that would be humongous. And the, the ability for them to get their content out, your content out to their networks um, could really uh, do wonders for promoting uh, your church, or your organization within the local community. The average person has about two to three hundred people in their network just in Facebook alone, and several people are on two or three, sometimes even four, uh, social media platforms. So, like your ability in order to create content that's shareable for your members um, within those networks could really make a big impact. Another way that you may, or another reason you may want to have an updated uh, website and not um, just your old static version of your website where you might just be uh, communicating like event times, uh, your location, maybe you have a map. Instead of just having a place where people can come and learn um, a little bit about your organization and you're sharing content, uh, you could also put some really neat new technology in there where people could give online. And a lot of churches are taking advantage of this. Another, uh, a couple other churches that I highlighted are uh, Sojourn Community Church here in Louisville. Um, they have a Give tab right in the upper portion of uh, their website, which makes it really easy to find uh, for people that are wanting to uh, give um, either weekly or monthly, but it makes it really seamless for them. Uh, one more or two more examples, Middletown United Methodist uh, and Middletown Christian Church both have excellent websites. I would say Middletown United Methodist is probably more informational than uh, the Middletown Christian site. You, you can see all of these opportunities to kind of get plugged in and connected to things that they're doing. I've not seen a lot of information like uh, resource information, but if you like go over to Middletown Christian, they actually have some really great uh, content over here where you can uh, kind of dig into some of their uh, previous sermons. So if I go into, let's see which area it was, Sermon Archives under About Us, you can go track down all of their previous sermons. The downside is they do not, I don't see any sharing buttons. Always make your content shareable. And most of this has to be done with probably an updated web website. If your website is too old to uh, incorporate some of these, you know, like minimal just software integrations that allow you to do uh, sharing content, you're really going to want to take advantage of uh, improving your website, updating it. So it's one, it's mobily responsive. It has some of these integrations that allow your content to be shared. And also um, like these integrations that allow you just for online giving. You know, creating a, a holistic plan, a strategy around how you might use some of these tools could be really useful in helping, one, for your community to stay vibrant, but also continue to grow. And why not turn uh, your community, your network, your members of your church, or your organization into evangelists, not just uh, for like your core beliefs, but also just to grow what it is you're doing and get more uh, people through the door to check out what it is you're doing. So if you've got questions, you want help putting a plan together, we'd be happy to help you. You can reach out to me, Joel, J-O-E-L, at 
themarketingsquad.com, joel at themarketingsquad.com, or you can call us, check us out on our website, www.themarketingsquad.com, and that's it for me today. Hmm.